Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the blockchain world, where the topic of the day is Skyforge.gg. Now, these guys have been working very hard to produce a game that is unlike any you have seen before. And my job today is to go over it and show you all the nits and picks and however you want to call it, so you can take advantage of this game yourselves and have a little bit of fun in the meantime. So if you enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and as always, check the links in the description down below. All the resources will be listed down there. If you want to give them a follow on Twitter, it's a big plus because you will find out about all of the airdrops and everything else that these guys will be doing in the future. For example, right now, there's a massive $100,000 SKYF. You're going to learn a little bit more about the token in just a few moments airdrop and it will run through Zeely for a total of eight weeks so you can earn XP, making you eligible to earn rewards. Hey guys, just a quick update before we start the video. The pre-sale itself will be announced on the 10th of June. And before that, well, whoever's watching, make sure to follow these guys on Twitter and all their socials. They will be linked in the description down below so you don't miss the best price available for the token once the pre-sale actually starts. So with that being said, we can hop right into the video. And once again, I'm not a financial advisor and you should do your own due diligence before investing into anything in the blockchain world. I can't wait to review this platform, so let's get right back into it. So how does Zeely work for those of you that have been, you know, living under a rock for the past uh, few years? It is all about airdrops, right? So you can answer some questions. What kind of a gamer are you, for example? And you can earn 500 XP for answering this question. It's quite simple. You can go on over and check the website, check the project quiz, check out the white paper, and you get points and experience for every single one of them, including joining the Discord, following on Twitter and all of this stuff. You're gonna get some XP and you're gonna get, get a larger chance to actually win in the airdrop, right? Or get more and more tokens, the more things that you do on the Zeely page. Quite cool, and I'm gonna drop it down in the description down below. But, you know, just to get into the actual game and what is going on within Skyforge itself, it is a world of sanctuary. So it's an upcoming extraction style MMORPG setting a new standard for Web3 gaming. If you want to get the token, I will attach the link for that as well. It is currently in the uh, public sale, I believe, or uh, in any case, you can get your airdrops on Zeely. And if you press the link down below, you can always connect your wallet and purchase a few tokens for yourself. So you have USDC, you have SKYF right here. The current price is 0.04. The next price will be 0.05. So obviously be as quick as possible as these guys will run out of tokens quite soon, uh, you know, judging by what I've seen so far from the entire ecosystem. And now it's my job to guide you through it. So they're trying to transform the entire Web3 gaming landscape by redefining the MMORPG style gaming using Unreal Engine 5 and base. So the whole gaming industry and mediocre state of Web3 gaming fed these guys up and they wanted to take matters into their own hands to create a 100% community funded project for gamers by gamers. So how to participate in the public pre-sale, first of all, set up a wallet, deposit some USDC, connect your wallet and authorize payments later on. Very simple, you're gonna see some of the stages right here. We are in the first stage right now where the lowest price is available and the price will be literally five times larger in stage nine already with a lot more tokens being issued over there. So this is the whole tokenomics. Make sure to keep that in mind when coming into this project. So when it comes to the vesting period, you have the public pre-sale, which unlocks after the pre-sale is sold out. Treasury, 40% is unlocked and uh, you know, for one to two years of vesting periods, liquidity is 100% unlocked for pairing on decentralized exchanges. Rewards are 100% unlocked, but obviously these are smaller percentages. It is important that the public pre-sale tokens are locked after or until the public pre-sale is sold out to ensure that everyone gets, gets a fair chance to actually enter the project in their own way, right? Introducing the actual game itself, so the whole gameplay is set in the floating city of Sanctuary, humanity's last bastion of hope. Players assume that the roles of Rift Divers are uh, these elite adventurers who traveled through temporal rifts to the earth below, and now a wide tapestry of time periods overrun by mutants and raiders. I've also opened a white paper here, a little glimpse at it at least, where you're going to see everything from an introduction to NFTs, play to earn, the core gameplay, the player character's journey and whatnot. But also, you know, when it comes to the community engagement, monetization of the entire project, then everything is quite abundant. So I do recommend you go ahead and check the white paper out before doing anything with regards to Skyforged. And with that being said, there are a few gameplay features that you are able to see. So there's a survive 
where you venture into temporal rifts to extract with valuable resources, relics, and technology, all while surviving against rival rift divers and engaging player versus E. I, I forget what E stands for. PVE, player versus... Um, I guess it's against the computer. Well, anyways, remind me down in the comments below. I, I'm kind of... Uh, you know, I have some brain fog going on, let's just say. So, compete. So, you have a face-off against other players in Skyreach Arena in fast-paced PvP. Okay, I know that's player versus player for sure. I know what PvE stands for as well, so do all of you guys, but I just forgot what the E stands for. Anyways, uh, climbing the leaderboards and earning tangible rewards on your way to the top. So, this is competing against other players. And obviously, socializing where you make friends and form alliances in the massive floating city of Sanctuary. You own a home, you engage in various activities and mini games take break from the action itself so if you want to discover the roadmap and a little bit more details you have the idea creation all done in q1 2024 phase one is out initial coin offerings the public pre-sale game announcement trailer creation of nfts token distribution and listings you have the sky reach arena where the core gameplay mechanics are being emphasized art direction and world building play to earn integration native nft integration alpha testing and launch and Later on in phase three, we have the Rift Expeditions where the extraction type game development is coming out. Loot system is being integrated, in-game marketplace integration, utility token launch, beta testing launching, and we have the Sanctuary at the end with centralized player hub development for you to actually be able to input whatever you want as a community member of like-minded community members. Seamless integration with all systems, NPC traders and quest givers. Uh, player housing and mini games and the Skyforge 1.0 launch. So, the utility by holding the SKYF token that you get will be some decision making features, airdrop eligibility, earning potential, and mining rewards. And once again, if you check out the Zili in the description down below, you will be able to learn more about the airdrop and make some, uh, you know, uh, chances for yourself to actually win as many tokens as possible so that's pretty much it for skyforged i really hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel comment down below with your favorite thoughts and opinions and lastly before you head on over to the pre-sale public sale or whatever stage it's in as you're watching this video make sure to drop a like and i'm not a financial advisor you should do your own due diligence before investing into anything in the blockchain crypto or nft world and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video